Hello, Gemini. It's time for your May reading of this current motherfucking year. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is resonates for you all good. If not, don't fucking worry about it, you know. Uh, take personal readings. You can catch me either in my email in the description below, um, my Facebook page, or my Instagram where I post memes and random other shit too. I'm also going to start like posting clips of um, videos and you guys can go there to check them whenever I do upload. So hopefully that'll help you as well. Um, I'm also doing a live stream tonight where you can come ask questions. I'll probably do like a twin flame reading and then we can get to the questions or whatever. I'm hoping my laptop won't fuck me over like it has been, but who knows? Who knows? Anyway, let's begin with yours. Gemini's is going to be simple six-way Taurus's car Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo's card. King of Pentacles right now, feeling stable and shit, right? Your wants and wishes is to be a little spy, really immaturely though, but you're definitely out for information for some sorts for clarity. Three of Swords, reversing the fears and rejections. Ace of Wands in the situation. Queen of Pentacles is the obstacle and challenge coming against you, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And the Ace of Swords, reverse in the catalyst as well as the final result. Clarity. <clears throat> Trying to get your balance is the uh, beginning theme. But there's someone back here in the shadows just being like, hello, 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 hello. I would like some of that blessing you're getting too. It's not their blessing, but they still want it. Like that whole jealousy shit, right? Jealousy. Na -na 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 so. Gemini's. Let's see. This doesn't have to be you. It could be another person. It could be cross watcher. But we're just going to say that it's Gemini for now. Um, with this King of Pentacles, right? Someone wants to be stable, grounded, have their money together, or get themselves nice and suited up. They're tired of waiting for something to come in or for their shits to go out. They want to cut all their ties to this Gemini. Below is the situation with the Ace of Wands. Wanting to start something new. Maybe adventure for a booty call. Ooh. The Chariot right here. It could be Cancer's card. But someone is definitely gearing up. They're ready to move forward with this situation of starting something new. Ooh. They're definitely ready to end whatever's up there to get stable. And they're ready to go and just start some shit, right? Then we have the Princess of Swords. It could be you, Gemini, or a Libra, or Aquarius. Um, they might be looking for information, clarification, something like that when it comes to a happy ending or even a happy family, right? Ten of Cups, completion right there, feeling emotionally fulfilled. Ooh, nice. Then we got the Queen of Cups down here, reverse in the situation as well. Well, not the situation, the uh, obstacle as well as the challenge, right? I feel like you're, if you were in a relationship and you were the most stable person, you're probably done with that. You're probably just like, I'm fucking sick of this shit, right? Especially if someone told you, like, what you didn't want to hear and now you're just going to go and, like, verify it. Like a, like a Gemini thing to do. Like, someone says that, like, you're being mean, so you start being meaner to prove them right because that's what you want to do, which is just, like... Like, I can't fault you for that, because that's what I would do as a Capricorn, but you guys take it to a fucking extreme. Like, if someone cuts you off in your head, you're going to show them how to do it proper. Um, but this Queen of Swords here, she's definitely kerfunkled. Might be a little bit promiscuous, like she's got her hoo -ha, ha just all out in the open with a little, like, ziggy sign. Um, feeling emotionally... with yourself you know like everything's out of whack doesn't have to be you could be like a water sign once again cancer yeah cancer's here as well just you're just feeling like you might even be a little bit emotionally manipulative i'm just i'm just putting that out there um, sometimes you guys don't know what your other side does and then you're surprised when it happens ah yeah you're feeling left out in the cold that's the obstacle and challenge. Um, trying to deal with your emotions after feeling like you've almost been abandoned and someone's sitting there watching you. Like, you're waiting to see if they open the door back up for you. But they're not. They're just looking at you. Being like, oh, whatever. 
three of swords, right? It's reversed. That's your fears and rejection. It's like recovering, using whatever talents you can in order to recover from a heartbreak of some sort. Possibly third party, doesn't have to be. Um, could just have been like somebody came in and it was just the catalyst for all of this started. Oh my god, these cards. I should have just, I'm almost tempted to get right or wait. Because these cards are acting very, um, they're coming out in groups, and I don't like that it's coming out in groups so much. Like, a lot. Way more than what it should. <clears throat> they're gonna lack of clarity. There's, there's some idea that, like, you have your brain wrapped around that you're holding back. Um, when it comes to recovering from this three of swords, right? Like, you want to recover from it, but it's almost like... Oh, there you go. It's almost like, um, you, it, it, it's like you're going in the shit to try to recover from this heartbreak, but there's something that in the back of your head that you're just ignoring, I almost feel like, or you think that isn't an important um, aspect, which is weird because like, Gemini usually like looks at all options. That's why they have such a hard time making decisions. Unlike Libra. No, Libra, um, to me, anyway, always puts up the illusion that they don't know what it is they want, but that's not the case for Libra. Most of the time, Libra is just have a hard time choosing something that doesn't make them feel as if it is perfected. Uh, Libras are really aggressive. Like, I don't care what anybody says. My father is a Libra. I have dealt with many Libra. Libra are very, very aggressive if something is not within their structural order of justice and stuff. Um, and I almost feel like you're taking on like a Libra energy with that. And look here, we got the Ace of Swords down here again, the lack of clarity. When it comes to relieving a burden, it's actually becoming stagnant because someone has the wrong idea about something. Or someone got the wrong idea. And look at this. Um, Eight of Swords right here. Okay. And the Six of Pentacles. Someone's trapped in their head because of their emotions. As they're watching somebody, like, get blessed or whatever. It's like, good things are coming in this one person. You're just down here feeling all this pressure. Be like, this is fucking bullshit. I deserve something, too. I've put in all this work. That's what I, that's what I almost feel like. Someone put you out and, like, now they're getting all this good shit. And it just feels like it's fucking stupid. It feels like it's stupid, but... There's something here where there's something missing. And if this isn't you, Gemini, this is probably somebody you're dealing with where they just feel like something didn't go in their favor and they're watching somebody else get it. And it just, it's, it's kind of pissing them off. But at the same time, it could also be you getting um, these blessings and someone feeling like they're under pressure from their emotions and feels like, you know, oh, I deserve this too. Is my thing dirty? Probably. That's why there's all, like, lens flares. Okay, that's better. No more lens flares. <laughs> this isn't Star Trek. Uh, of the newer kind. I'd say, I don't understand why superhero movies have so much lens flares. Like, people want their eyeballs scanned up. I'll take this book, since it just popped up, respectively. Yeah, maybe the home was broken up from a third-party situation. Like, it, it, honestly, like, it could have been you, Gemini, but I don't think so. I, I really don't think it's you doing something dirty. Um, I mean, it could be. I could be wrong. Um, you're trying to be the stand-up commando and such of the household, but it's becoming way more of a burden. Like, you're the person who is, um... Under the table, supporting everybody while you're trying to look good doing it. Like, and you do look good. Believe me, you always look good. Um, but right now, you're just also in that impression of being like, I am the law, too, while you're doing this shit. But it, it's definitely, it works on your back. Um, and whatever it is you think is just and fair, you're trying to work on it. But there's something here that just isn't going that way. Almost like what you think is justice is manifesting something you almost wasn't expecting. I swear, I got a cat hair somewhere on me, and it's driving me nuts. Interesting. You always get a lot more information than most people, Gemini, I think, but I think that's because you're ruled by Mercury. The communicator, the messenger. Oh, yeah. You're definitely trying to get yourself back in your fucking suit. You're willing to cut your arms off just to look nice and fly in that uh, outfit. Beautiful. 
Okay, I'm sorry. I, I, I really can't sing high pitched. I'm more of an alto or a bass. Ooh, both. Um, you're definitely trying to come up with some decisions of sorts. Should you keep digging or should you go ahead and bury those onions and start crying about it? Like, look at these onions. Look at how he's digging them up. It's like the more he digs up, the more he wants to fucking cry. Are you going to bury the hole or are you just going to keep crying about it? <clears throat> because um, justice is coming. Karma is coming. Whoever is in the wrong, um, justice is coming. This is Libra's card. I was just talking about Libra too. You might be being cut through like a Libra does when it comes to who is in the right or who is in the wrong. Because that black and white thinking um, definitely exists in Libra. Much like it does in Capricorn. And someone is, you know, someone just got a dead fish. It'd be like, which one do you want? Do you want it the hard way? Or do you want it my way? Pretty much. So, that's yours for the beginning of May, Gemini. Please be careful. Don't cut too many heads off. And, you know... You know, stop fucking crying and just bury the fucking onions. It's not gonna bring you justice. But you will get the kind of fish. Send someone a dead fish, mafia style. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. Oh my god. Get